Hey everybody, it's Daniel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to build an Android app, specifically an inventory management app. So the first thing we need to build an Android app is Android Studio. So go ahead and Google that. And we can download it for free from developer.android.com. So go ahead and go there. It's about a gig, so it may take a little bit to download. Um, you can learn more about it on this screen. It kind of shows some screenshots. But the important thing to note is that it is free. Number one, it's free. And it's available for both Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, you can also do it on a Chromebook. I haven't actually tried a Chromebook. Um, I have one, but I just haven't tried it yet. But I've tried all three platforms. It works really well. I'll assume you're on Windows. It kind of has some minimum specs there, Mac. But these all platforms work really well. So go out to the top and go ahead and hit the Download Android Studio button. And I actually already have it installed, so just uh, fast forward a little bit, you know, wait, and wait to download it. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So it looks like that. You can go to your launcher or just go ahead and open up Android Studio. I'm on Mac here, so it'll show up in Applications. On Windows, just go to the Start menu. It has this nice little animation. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and... Um, there's a couple of things you can do when you first open it up, but for the first time you can just go, oh, and also this is gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm using the light theme, so this all may be dark for you, but uh, it should look, you should still have these options here. So go ahead and do start a new Android Studio project, and again I'm using the light theme so it looks kind of light, but I'll show you how to change that later. Let's go ahead and just select basic activity. And there's a lot you can do here. You can make, you can create a new, you know, a watch app, a TV app, an Android Auto app, Android Things. But right now, let's just stick to phone and tablet because that's what we're going to be doing. Um, if you're going to be creating like a map app, you can kind of do that or a login screen. It kind of, this is kind of like a little template to get you started. But for us, basic activity is exactly what we want. So it kind of tells you a little bit about it. Let's go ahead and hit next, and let's call this, you know, in then let's call this in. Call it inventory management. That can be called anything there. Now, for your package name, it might be com dot example by default, and that's fine. So, if you have already have a website and, you, and your website is you know danielmalone.com, you just put it backwards. So you put you know com dot danielmalone. If you don't know what to put there, com dot example is always safe. That can always be changed later. That can always be changed later. Um, that can also be changed later. So this save location, that's probably going to be inside of some folder. This is just where all your files are going to be saved. You don't really need to mess with that. So make sure the language is Kotlin because this series is all going to be in Kotlin. This inventory management app where you know, add products and you know kind of track things is all going to be in Kotlin. Uh, minimum API, that's fine. 21 is fine. Um, that should be checked by default and with all these settings filled out, let's go ahead and hit finish. And this should open up Android Studio and we'll actually see the project. And again, um, th there's a bunch of light. This uh, I'm using the light theme. So if you're using the dark theme, it may look all dark, but it's still gonna look similar to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this pop-up. And immediately you'll see some stuff running. It says, you know, uh, scanning, indexing, indexing resources. So let's just go ahead and wait. And this may take a couple of minutes depending upon how fast your computer is. But eventually you should kind of see this screen here. Now one of the things with Android Studio that's kind of cool is it's a bunch of panes. So say I want to make that smaller, I can kind of make that smaller. I can make that bigger there in the middle. You can close pane. So on the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and see how this build kind of pane is open. We can go to to-dos, terminal. You can kind of play around with stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and just close build on the bottom just so we have some more space here. And you'll notice this kind of looks like an Android app. You have your, you know, kind of toolbar there. You've got some text in the middle. It's kind of basic. And you have your floating action button. So if you've never programmed before, this may look kind of daunting. You know, there's all these buttons and all of these uh, stuff you can fill out. And you've got all these options and panes and stuff. But in this series, I'll try to keep it to the basics just so if you don't have much experience programming, uh, you can follow along. Or if you program maybe for the web or for iOS for a different platform, hopefully you can follow along. So the first thing we want to do, let's, let's go ahead and try to run this in an emulator. So this, uh, this uh, and by the way, if you don't see this screen here, go ahead and go to the left and open up Project Pane, and it should be Android by default. And then on the left here, we kind of have a series of folders you can open up and close. So we can open up 
app, we can open up Java, uh, we can open up Res, but your layout file is going to be inside of here. So say these two tabs were closed so you don't see anything there, maybe you see this. Go ahead and open up App, Res, or Resources, and then Layout, and then go ahead and open up Double click content main, and this is the file here. This is our layout file. And just as easily, say we want to create another screen. We can just go ahead and go into here and you know create a new screen, but we'll get to that in a later, in a later video. So the first thing you want to do, let's go ahead and try to run this on an Android device or an emulator. So if you have a physical device, uh, you can plug it into your MacBook Pro or your Windows or Linux or Mac Chromebook uh, laptop or desktop. Um, your, on your physical device, you're going to need to enable developer mode. So on your device, open up settings and click on build, the build number seven times, I think. But in this case, let's go ahead and open up on an emulator. So at the top left here, you'll see a AVD manager. You can also get to it through tools, I think also tools, AVD manager. Go ahead and open that up. And right now I already have a device here, but you won't see that. So what you'll need to do is to create a virtual device or an emulator, go ahead and click create a virtual device on the bottom. And this is kind of like for development, just so we, so, just so we can kind of play around with it on the computer so you don't have to use a physical device. You can select a different device. So I'm going to select, uh, let's just do a, let's do a Pixel, let's do a Pixel 3XL, why not? Um, yeah, so select a phone, Pixel 3XL. We can go ahead and go to Next. And we can kind of select what, what, what version of Android we want our device to run, or what we want our emulator to run. So we can select Q, that's fine, or you can select the latest. Uh, go ahead and hit Next, and uh, go ahead and hit Finish there. And if you want, you can name it to something else. You can call it like a Daniel's first emulator there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Cancel. And actually already have an emulator there. So once you hit finish there, it'll actually wait, it may take a little bit. Oh, and also one thing to note, when you do go into, if you don't have these downloaded already, it may take a little bit to download. So it may take, it may be a little bit slow, but you may have to download one of those. But, uh, um, and it may take 20 minutes. But I already have an emulator set up here. So once you click finish, you'll see your emulator there. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Now to actually run this, we need to hit the, uh, Let's go ahead and hit the uh, green play button right there. So you'll see app, you'll see your device name there. And if you have different devices, or say you plugged in a device, you can select it there. But I'm gonna go ahead and just select the emulator we just created, or the emulator you just created, and whatever you named it, you know, Daniel's emulator. And I'm gonna hit the run button. Now, this may take a couple of minutes, but if you notice on the bottom right, it says two processes running. That basically, that basically means Android Studio is doing something. So just wait, and you see it's opening an emulator up. So just be patient here. And boom, here we go. So here's our emulator. So you notice it looks kind of like a phone, and it's, you know, it's basically what a phone is. It's just running on your computer here. So if you don't, if you just want to plug in your device through a USB cable, you can do that. Like I said, go to settings on your phone, tap, look for the build number in settings and tap it seven times. You need to enable developer mode on your phone, or it's easier to just use an emulator like I'm doing right here. So just be patient. This can take, oh, if it's your first time, it could take five minutes. You know, it's going to be a little bit slow. So here we are, so we have our emulator. You can notice, you know, you can swipe up. Here are some apps I've kind of played with. You have Gmail, you've got, you know, Photos app. It's just, it's just basically like a phone. So just, you know, be patient, keep waiting, waiting, waiting. And it says waiting for target device to come online. Um, this may take a minute or two, but once, once it finishes, this app that we're building right here will show up as an app in our emulator. So hopefully it's doing something. But yeah, I mean, it's just like any other, you know, it's just like your regular phone. You can, you know, open up Drive, we can open up Messages. Now Messages is not gonna work, but yeah, Maps should work. You know, you can open up, you can't, you can't make calls, but you can use YouTube. You can open up Chrome and browse the web. You can do, you know, just, and here we, so here we are. So finally just open up our app. So if you notice, if I go back to Android Studio here and notice, we have Hello World in the center, and if I go to my emulator, you'll notice, hey, you know, here's our app. Now, it doesn't do a whole lot. Like, uh, by default, I can click on the floating action button, and it says that. 
but it says our hello world there. It has our inventory management title there in the toolbar. We can do that. So for the next, you know, 20, 30 parts of this series, um, you know, we'll be working on this inventory management app. And here it is. So yes, here it is. Oh, so if you're on a physical device, go ahead and open up settings. So I can go to settings on your physical device, so on your phone. Uh, you can go to like system, I think it is, and advanced, and I think it's somewhere under like, um, I don't think it's system update, but somewhere you need to tap the build number seven times. It's, uh, I don't know exactly where it is. Where is it? Oh, about emulator maybe? Just, that, yeah, there's build number. So if I were to tap this, you know, tap it again and again, now it says four steps away from being a developer. So tap on that seven times, and then if you go back, you should see somewhere in here, you should see an option for developer options. So I don't need to do that because I'm already on an emulator. This emulator will work just fine, and we'll be using this for the rest of this series. So for the rest of this, uh, this video, I'm gonna make it kind of short, or try to make it kind of short. Let's go ahead and change something. So with uh, content main open up here, um, there are two modes. There's text mode, which is kind of like your code you can modify, and we'll get into that later. But to keep things simple, go to design mode, and let's just go ahead and click on hello world. You'll notice on the left side, you'll have this attributes you can kind of open and close. I'm gonna open up attributes, and let's change it to something else. So click on, you know, with it selected there, um, we can change the text. Let's change text to, um, add, um, let's do, you know, add a product below. Hit enter, and instantly you'll notice add a product below shows up there. So there's a lot we can do here. We can do, you know, let's make it bigger. So let's look for text size. Let's make that 24. Now it's nice and big. Maybe we wanna, we wanna change the color. So let's go ahead and click on the color there. Let's make it, um, Let's make it green, why not? Make it, make it match the toolbar. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close that. And if you'll notice, if we, you know, with our emulator selected there again, if we go, oops, if we go ahead and hit that button again, and that's gonna change, wait a minute or two, but just wait for the emulator, and it's gonna, may take a minute, then you should see it up on the emulator. So here's your emulator. So this is an app we can submit to the Google Play Store. We can literally go open up Android Studio, we can go to build, we can, you know, uh, build the APK or however you or run, or however you do it now, these it's like under, yeah, we can build our bundle there. And we could submit this app to Google Play. Now right now it doesn't do much, but you know, that's how, you, this is basically how you build an app. And you've seen that you can, you know, put it on an emulator. So I wanna do, I'm trying to think, I'll try to keep this short, but, I'll, but in the next couple of parts we'll, we'll continue on this. So just one more thing, what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to add something to our layout there. So say we really don't want that, I'm gonna go ahead and select it. I'm gonna hit the delete icon to get rid of that. And on the left side, you'll notice we have a palette, uh, we'll have a palette um, pane we can open and close. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, and there are different stuff we can add to our layout. So I'm gonna go to common, and here's a button. So I'm just gonna click and drag the button, and I'm gonna put it, I'm just gonna put it right there for now. And we can basically lay this out anywhere we want to put our button. So say we want to add a button to add a product. Say we want it in the top left. It's not quite enough to put it there. We're using constraint layout, something we'll get to in a future video. But for now, just place it somewhere. And you'll notice you'll have these little circle icons on the left, right, top, and bottom. That's because it's constraint layout. So what you need to do is click. So see the little I the circle? Put your mouse over there. Click, hold down, drag and then let go, and it kind of puts it near the top left. So now click, drag, let go, and now it puts it there. Say we want to put it in the middle top, we can do the same thing to the right side. So click, drag, and let go, and it puts it in the middle. Say we want to put it exactly in the middle of the screen, we could constrain it to the bottom as well. So see on the bottom one, click, drag, and let go. Now it's in the center. And this is kind of, what's going on behind the scenes is kind of complex. But for now, you know, we'll get to that maybe in the next part, maybe in part three or four. But for now, you have our button there. So if we go back to our attributes, let's change it to something else. So let's uh, look for text. Now let's change it from button to add a product. Or add to, to, to inventory. So this is where we'll add our inventory. And let's go ahead and... 
Uh, let's see if we can do background tint. So let's change that. Can we change it to something else? Let's change it to a nice blue color. There we go, there's our button. Actually, no, let's, let's, uh, let's uh, make it green. Why not, just make it green. Let's go ahead with that dark green button. Now it's kind of hard to read the text, so let's make the text white. Let's click on there again, and let's do text color. Let's make it, and if you don't see a good color there, you can always just click and drag. You know, let's make it, you know, red. Let's make it, let's make it white. Did it make it white? Oh, let's change that to 100. That's the alpha, we'll get into that later. But if you just have these same values here, and also you know it's like, so that's, that stands for red, green, and blue. So say I want less red, it goes from zero to 255. Say we want less red, say we want, say we want only 100 red, it'll change it to a little, you know, it changes the color. But we want full red, full green, and full blue, which makes it, you know, 255 for everything. And we want our transparency to be 100%, or you can just type in that, but that's, now we, that should make it white. And again, you can just check any color you want. You know, you can make it purple, you can make it, you know, whatever color. So there we go. Uh, so one last thing, I'm gonna go ahead and click the run button. Go back to the emulator and wait a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, cause I'm kind of on a fast Mac here. And boom, there it is. So there's our inventory management app. So again, we have like 20 or 30 more parts to go, but if you click add to inventory, it doesn't do anything right now, but we have our button in the middle of the screen, there's a lot we can do. So maybe in the next part, once we click on it, we wanna add, we want it to go to a new screen where we can type out, hey, I wanna add my, you know, I'm looking at my living room, maybe I wanna add a couch and a sofa and a chair, and maybe a Dell laptop that's sitting next to me. Maybe I wanna add an iPod or my Pixel phone. We can click on that and then just type in, you know, Pixel, uh, I bought it in, you know, 2004, whatever, my first iPod maybe. And so then maybe we'll we'll have a list of products that you have in your living room or your a couch or whatever, or maybe your office. And this is kind of an example app just so you can kind of get a feel for how to add built Android apps. So I'm trying to think of what else we can do. It's getting kind of long. Um, hopefully you figured out how to open up Android Studio, open up Content Main, drag in a button to your act to your screen. We talked a little bit about going from text to design mode. We'll get into text mode later, so don't worry about that. But um, we learned how to run it in the emulator. We went to tools, ABD manager. We created a new device. Or you can always plug in your phone with a USB cable. Go, and you need to enable developer mode on your device. But since we're using an emulator here, we don't need to do that. We just create it there. There's our emulator. Go ahead and select it there. Um, hit the run button that's right there. It'll run the app. Open up your emulator and boom, there's the app. Uh, one word of caution, just be patient. If you're on a slower machine, this, you know, when you hit the button there, for the first time it can take five minutes. You know, Android's loading up, it's loading all your resources, it's loading the operating system. It can just take five minutes. So if you're on a slower machine, just be patient. Now one last word, I'm on a Mac. But you can do this the, the exact same thing on Windows. It should look pretty identical. Some of the stuff is maybe like, I'd say 98% of Android Studio is the same for Mac, Windows, or Linux. There's some small differences. Keyboard shortcuts are a little bit different. So hopefully you learned something. And I really want to see you in the next part. So stay tuned. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe to next parts. And I guess with that, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully this wasn't a waste of your time. Um, I'm trying to keep it paced well, so you know I'm not too basic, but you know not too advanced. You know, hopefully you can follow along, and I'll see you in part two. So stay tuned.